Are you letting yourself enjoy conversations in English? Hi, Vicki Kelty here, and I'm back with another quick fluency tip to help keep your English speaking seriously fun. Okay, when you are having a conversation in English, that is your time to enjoy the experience. And that is really your only task. You do not need or even want, I mean, who would want to sit and analyze their language when they're hanging out with their friends or with family or with strangers? It doesn't even matter. The point is that when you're in a class setting, cool. That makes sense that you're going to do more reflection and analysis of your speaking. When you are practicing solo speaking, which I hope you are, that is another great time to really evaluate what you're saying in English. But when you're having a conversation with somebody, that's the time for you to, to relax and enjoy it and let it let it flow. Let yourself be natural. So different things that are natural in speaking a language, any language, are pauses. We pause to think about things. And if it's a language that we're learning, sometimes we may need a moment extra to really get that idea together. And that's fine. We also may self-correct. So we said something and then we realized that we meant to say it a different way or there was a better word to use. And so we correct it. Again, that is something we do in, in all languages. It may feel more... I want to say embarrassing, but we... How about this? We notice it more. We pay more attention to it when it's a language that we're learning because it it seems like it has more meaning, but it's just the same as when just now I was trying to figure out what I wanted to say in to express it the way that I meant. We do it in our native languages, so we can do it in the language that we're learning too. And Th that's about it. That's all I want you to know. And to remember the next time that you go into a conversation with somebody else to enjoy that experience, let yourself play around with the language, try the things that you've been learning. That's fine. But leave the analysis for when you finish the conversation for the next class you have with your teacher. And, and that's when you can dive in and say, how would I have done this differently? How awesome did I do this? And all of that. All right. Talk to you next time. Bye.